As I expected, another life snuffed out in a flash. <laughs> what kind of idiot loses twice in one day? With him on the loose out there, I knew this kind of thing would end up happening. should have realized back then, no one will ever be able to bring him down. America is the largest superpower in the world today, as we were the day we found him. If we couldn't tame the beast, I'm not sure that anyone could. As I'm sure all of you are aware, our nation's withdrawal from Indochina was facilitated by a single young man. This is a very serious situation for our country, and I'd like to know what we're going to do about it. I'm not sure, sir. We have the strongest military in the entire world, and look at what he's forced us into. We must start with finding this kid. <laughs> What's he doing in South America? Our intelligence tells us he's fighting guerrillas in the drug region down there. We don't have much more than that. If we let this kid continue down the path he's on, it will just be a matter of time before he's a direct threat to our country's safety. I don't care if he's a kid. I say if he's old enough to be in the military, then he's old enough for us to kill. Kill is such a harsh word to use. I prefer to think of it as preserving our way of life. The better word here is eradication. And so the plan to assassinate Yujiro Hanma was put into play. Officially, we were in South America to destroy the drug cartels, but every man knew there was a bigger fish to fry. First things first. Hanma is a man, not a kid, and none of our conventional weapons will work on him. No missiles, bullets, or explosives. But he can be defeated. Engaging him in hand-to-hand -hand combat is the only way, and we'll have to confirm the kill. If you really believe that, then why did you send in every special forces unit we got? Where's the hand-to-hand -hand unit? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we were covered so what happened to me last time doesn't repeat itself. It would be an honor to shake your hand, Hanma. Instead of instilling in them a sense of fear, I've taught my soldiers to respect and admire you, and they do. I'm sorry about this, Captain. I'm still wearing my bulletproof vest. Good thing none of those bullets hit my arms. I could have really been hurt. Guess I'm just blood. There's no such thing as too careful when it comes to him. This time he's got no way out. The target's in sight. Move to sight, see, man! Yes, 
You played that very well. But I'll bet you had no idea that every move we made was calculated, leading you right into this little trap of ours. Those grenades are rigged specially to detonate upon pin removal. So I wouldn't try setting my foot on the ground if I were you. Personally, I'd rather take a hit from one of these M16s than one of those grenades. Which is exactly what I had in mind for you. <laughs> no! Cease fire, man! Immediately! That's an order! happen Sir, I'm reporting that the campaign has failed, and the Green Beret unit has been defeated. What are you saying? That's impossible. What about your other precious tactical unit, Stridum? We've lost contact with the SEALs unit, but it's unconfirmed as to why. Could be radio interference. seals both of them wiped out we have a situation on our hands gentlemen if i may i believe we should retreat sir we've lost enough good men for one day hmm. i don't believe his objective is to fight us sir i think he just sees us as getting in his way it's not too late to accomplish our goal are you really that blind there's been a contingency plan in place since day one American troops didn't do this. This is something much different. I'm sure both of you are familiar with the phrase, fight fire with fire. Our contingency plan is actually a man, and you know his identity. You don't mean... He's already there. He's never been moved overseas before. As you know, this is at the request of the military, and all manners of this are to be considered top secret. Yes, of course. You have our complete cooperation. Our lips are sealed. <laughs> It's right this way. <laughs> Hope you like the artwork. They've even got air conditioning in here. I can't believe this is a wing of a penitentiary. 
come in. How does he always know when I'm here? A visitor for you. It's a pleasure to have your company today. I'm Oliver. The muscles on this man are incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Are you all right? I thought you came here today to meet with me about something. Based in South America, this man is in charge of the world's largest drug cartel. The U.S. has declared him an enemy of the state and they would like him eliminated. I understand. There's one problem. In the jungles, there seems to be an issue concerning a certain individual. Hmm. You're talking about Hanma. You know him? I can't think of any other reason the U.S. Department of Defense would come to a guy like me for help. But, Oliver! A South American vacation would be nice. I'll take the job, but there's one condition. Just one. Which is? Since you and I know there's no one else for you to turn to, I want to do this my way. <laughs> you allowed a convict to go free from prison to work for the military? Yes. Those were more than just rumors, Govac. He's unchained. At least that's what I hear they're calling this guy these days. So, unchained. That was the Vietnam Whip, a move developed by the Green Berets while fighting in the Viet Cong tunnels. First, you dislocate the enemy's shoulder. Then the ribs beneath that shoulder are shattered, rendering the enemy helpless. Now, I've been trained in many fighting styles, but you, your timing, the speed at which you attack your enemy is something I've never encountered before. Not so fast. I recognize your mastery of the arts. Which is precisely why I brought this little guy along. You move fast for a dead man! Now I got you. a great fighter, but I've got the gun. Yes, you do. The path he's cut leads us to believe that he is headed toward the cartel's headquarters. You think he plans to defeat the entire drug cartel with his bare hands? Everything at this point is speculation. That sounds typical. Maybe we should wait and see. Unchained might take apart the cartel so we won't have to. Hmm. This is getting annoying. Stridum, you faced him before. Help me get inside the man's head. Yes, sir. What beef does he have with us that he'd want to keep on fighting? I couldn't say, sir. But I do not, however, think it was his desire to engage us initially. I believe he was going after the gorillas when he came across us. Hmm. Okay. Why was he after them? Well, my personal feeling is that he relishes fighting and they were the perfect group with which to practice. Why can't this guy get enough? Sir, I couldn't say. But it seems to satisfy a desire in him. The reaction, in my opinion, is much the way a large meal can satisfy incredible hunger. <laughs> I thank you for your insight. You may now return to your duties. Sir!
like a gourmet chef who perfected the perfect meal, and he gets all four courses to himself. I wonder what made him that way. States government sent me over here to get rid of. There you are. It took you so long to get here, I got bored and had to find something to keep myself busy. You can never cut through my muscles with that butter knife. Oh, yeah. And one other thing. It's rude to interrupt people when they're having a conversation. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> How can I talk manners when I didn't introduce myself? <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Mr. Hanma. You may address me as Oliver. I'm unchained. Oh, how intimidating. I've always enjoyed names like that. In this life, you never want to link the name to the person. It's too dangerous. That's how I got my name. Of course. <laughs> Yet. What? I'm not ready to kill you yet. I want to save you for later when I can enjoy it. Come on, I came all this way. You know you can't just send me home without a fight. starting to enjoy this. <laughs> what do you mean completely devastated? That's impossible! And you expect me to believe that one man did all of this? Yes, sir. And where is this one man right now? Well, sir... He's coming here? I want all of our troops on the lawn immediately! And I want them to take him out the second they see him step off that chopper, do you understand? Mr. President, regarding that, the CIA has a plan in place. They've already worked out all of the details for you. <laughs> what? Jiro will do nothing to you if you do not resist him. In the end, the path that we chose to take was one to walk with him, not fight him. We chose to forge a cordial and meaningful relationship, something that would bridge the ties through violence, thousands of miles of separation, and deep cultural differences. It's my pleasure to welcome you. I'm the President of the United States. Your apology is 
is accepted, old man. Wait, Mr. Hanma, where are you going? Mr. Hanma! On this day in history, the United States was brought to its knees and nearly defeated by a single man. This fact will never see print in any book or file. Only we who live this hell know the story, and our voices will forever fall upon deaf ears.